Hello, everybody. You are watching and listening to The Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood. This article was submitted by Logan D'Alessandro. Uh, this is what you get at the $5 level of the Patreon. You get to submit an article. Uh, I missed Logan's last month, so I owed him for two this month. This is why you might be hearing his name a second time. Um, this is an article from ZeroHedge.com. Um, uh, <laughs> Synthetic CDOs may reach $100 billion in 2017, a five times increase in two years. So you're asking, what is a synthetic uh, CBO, a CDO, it's collateralized debt obligation. Um, I'm not gonna go into specifically what that is because I barely understand. Um, and as Logan suggested, he goes, let's just talk about what basically this is. It's, if you watch the movie, um, The Big Short, Basically, and I'll go into the details here, and Logan has been submitting stuff like this in the past to show us all of these bubbles that are on the verge of breaking. What is happening is these CDOs, this is, looks very similar to what was happening in 06 and 07, right before the bust, right before the collapse of 2008. It's madness. Excuse me. It's completely madness. So... Um, they, I'll, I'll read some, <laughs> it's just like, it, it's just, it's just, in, it's insane. Um, but I, I'll, re <laughs> I can't, I can't even, like, I can't even believe that this is happening again. Well, I mean, I can because nothing was regulated. Obama didn't regulate anybody. Did he put anyone in jail? No, no. Did anything change? Nope. Bush didn't do it. Obama didn't do it. Obama helped create 5.2 million foreclosures. The two communities that were hit the hardest, black and Latino. Well, buckle up, everybody, because it's going to happen again. Um, Citibank has every confidence uh, that... Hold on. That's... Uh, huh. Um... Citibank has every confidence um, that the person to put in charge of once again making the bank into a powerhouse player in the synthetic CDO market, perhaps because uh, this is Gia they're talking about, um, the <laughs> Gia Chen of Citibank. Let me get that clear. Gia Chen of Citibank, 35 year old um, Gia Chen of Citibank. They put her in charge uh, because she was barely out of college when the same product nearly tanked the global financial system less than 10 years ago. So that's what this article is gonna end. So Gia Chen, they're like, you're in charge. So she was only, she was, you know, 24, 25 when this last thing happened. So she really doesn't have, know much about it. Um, be that it is made, Gia seems to be succeeding admirably in her mission to once again massively overlever the global financial system as Citibank reports that synthetic CDO new issues are expected to exceed $100 billion this year, up five times in just two years. That stat comes from Bloomberg. Um, the comeback in complex credit derivatives blamed for exacerbating the global financial crisis is picking up pace. That's according to new research this week from Citigroup Inc. One of the biggest arrangers of so-called uh, synthetic collateralized debt obligations. Sales of the products may jump to as much as $100 billion this year from about $20 billion in 2015. Citigroup analysts wrote in an October 31st report. So once again, they know it's coming. They're helping to create it. And what fear would these banks have of another global crisis? Zero. It's in their best interest. They can run up, make a bunch of money. When it all blows up, the government's going to bail them out. You think Donnie Trump is going to prosecute these jackasses? No, he's going to make a profit from it. His whole cabinet's going to profit from it, and all of his rich 1%er buddies are going to profit from it. The Clintons won't lose their jobs. The Obamas won't lose their jobs. The Bushes won't lose their jobs. <laughs> Nancy Pelosi won't lose her job. Paul Ryan won't lose his job. None of them will lose their jobs. None of them will be having financial trouble. Um, 
While investors suffered billions of dollars in losses on similar bets a decade ago, the leverage offered by synthetic CDOs is luring back buyers in an era of low yields and dwindling volatility. Well, American public, well, American investor, nobody wants to learn. Nobody wants to learn from the past. Nobody wants to learn from the past. The housing market here in Southern California, in California in general, is way, way overflated, inflated. It's going to pop. It would seem as if the low spread, low vol environment, similar to back in 2006, 2007, when investors couldn't get enough of the levered synthetic trenches, has revive some interest in portfolio credit risk. Citigroup analysis led by Arita Banerjee wrote, investors may not have necessarily wanted to add leverage, but simply put, they have had to given the lack of alternatives. <laughs> Prey on people's greed, don't give them much options. Here we go. Here we go. Um, there are some key differences in today's synthetic CDOs versus the pre-crisis vintage. Citigroup said it has created over 50 full capital structure deals in recent years, which vary from the single tranche bespoke deals that dominate before and just after the crunch. Such full capital structures, which typically include junior, mezzanine, and senior tranches, I don't know what that means, but maybe you investor types do, <laughs> have historically proved harder to sell because banks must find buyers for all the pieces at once. Senior tranches are more insulated from potential losses, but also come with lower yields. One reason the banks created the infamous leverage upon seniors before the financial crisis. That's city banks saying, don't worry about it. That's what I just read, right? Citibank, uh, says they've solved the problem that made them dangerous back in 2008 by reducing duration. And we all know that credit risk is equally to exactly zero on the short end of the curve, right? <laughs> this is their thing. So I'll read this. For those who have forgotten about synthetic CD, how synthetic CDOs work, below is a quick primer. To summarize, you go out and find a bunch of suckers willing to backstop trillions of dollars worth of credit risk in return for a few BPS in annual premium payments. You then tranche out the risk by take, taken by the CDO investors so that those at the top can get a double A rating. And in return, tell their investors that they're taking no risk at all. Those investors then lever up their capital another 10 times so they can make 8% returns on a risk, quote, risk-free investment. It's basically as safe as having your own printing press from the U.S. Treasury. Typically, the CDOs pool together about 100 different credit default swaps tied to various companies, which then are sliced into varying levels of risk called tranches senior, mezzanine, and equity. Over the life of a deal, which generally lasts two or three years, the swaps generate a steady stream of income for long investors and are paid by short investors on the other side of the trade who want insurance against a potential default. The equity tranche has a, the biggest risk of getting wiped out if losses from defaults exceeding, exceed roughly five to 7% and nets highest returns. I understood some of that. I understood enough to say what's happening in 07 is happening now. I get that part. And I've watched The Big Short twice now. I'd watch it again. If I were you, if you've never watched it, I'd watch it. Good acting in it. And it spells all this out in very simplistic layman's terms, which is what I need because I'm not an investor person. Um, who's buying these scammy things? If you guess 20 something year old pension and insurance fund investors who were in middle school during the last financial crisis, then you're probably right. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, and this all ties into other stuff Logan D'Alessandro has sent me. Years after uh, rising markets, declining corporate defaults and tighter credit spreads, the trade is finally attracting greater interest. Increasingly pension funds, we've talked about pension funds, um, 
and endowments have become senior tranche investors in many of Citigroup's synthetic CDOs. And because the CDOs are derivatives, they have small upfront costs and ample pie returns. There is a whole generation of people in finance who never knew or forgot what the problems were with synthetic the CDOs. Here's the conclusion. Seems like we're getting to that point in the cycle when it once again makes sense to short everything that guy or girl in this case has touched. If you're an investor, I would short this stuff. I don't quite know what that means, but I would. this is why I don't play with the stock market because it's not for me. It's not for working middle class people to invest in, put a couple grand in. It's not for that. It's for these rich banking assholes. And Citigroup, they can write a report saying, oh, it's not like 10, 10 years ago. It's a lot better because they're not going to suffer anything. The big executives aren't going to suffer anything. So thank you, Logan D'Alessandro, for sending us this article of more stuff from Zero Edge. It's just unbelievable, confirmed by Bloomberg and Citigroup's own uh, report. It's coming, guys. The corporate state is going to eat itself, and we're going to have to suffer. So by gold, by water, you know, <laughs> by water filtration systems, it's madness. This country refuses to learn. This country refuses to learn. So it will have to learn the hard way again. And this recession is going to be even worse because you don't have, the whole country didn't build back up their reserves and their retirement and smart investing. No, we've had 10 years. We've talked about this on this show. Pumped up um, uh, employment numbers, right? Oh, the recession's over. Everyone's working. Everyone's working. No, everyone's working two and three part-time jobs, which doesn't pay as much as a full-time job. As I've said before numerous times on this show, 60% of the country can't even handle a five to a $500 to $1,000 emergency. When this happens, it's going to get ugly. I said when Occupy Wall Street was happening and they kind of prided themselves on not having a thing, I said, if things don't fix, if the rich keep doing this and keep screwing everyone over, Occupy Wall Street's going to come back bigger more organized and more violent. I don't want violence. I don't want riots in the streets. I don't want a civil war. I don't want it. I don't want it. It's awful. I've seen it in other countries. I do not want it. But it's scaring me when I see shit like this because a, a financial collapse, when people can't feed themselves and their families, they get mad. If everyone's got jobs and homes, they have stuff to lose. If you start getting a bunch of people with nothing to lose, then there's going to be crazy riots and this government is going to respond with militarized police. Look what they did at Standing Rock. I did a video on a woman that just was protesting clean water and she's in jail for murder? What? Trumped up Noxon's charges? So get involved. Pay attention, folks. This does not look good. I'm not trying to be a gloom and doom guy. I'm sorry, but I, I don't want to do that. But I don't like this does not look good. It does not look good. So thank you, Logan D'Alessandro, for getting me this article. You get to submit articles like this if you go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood. Also, I am emceeing, directing, and producing a new TV show for FNX. We shoot December 17th at San Bernardino Valley College at the theater out there. Uh, it's a seven o'clock show time. If you go to the link to my website, GrahamElwood.com, the tour dates, uh, the show's dates there, you can buy tickets and we're gonna then, so come out December 17th. It's a Sunday night in San Bernardino. It's this beautiful 500 seat theater that was built uh, with, during the FDR era with the WPA money, you know, back when the government was using socialism to help give theaters and arts and stuff like that. FDR, not perfect. Also did Japanese internment camps. Yes, the insane hypocrisy of America on display. Anyway, come hang out in this nice theater. It'll be a fine comedy show. I hope you can make it. And thanks for watching.